Hello, my name is William Stanley and welcome back to the Star Wars Animation Blocks. And in this video, we're going to be creating depth using scaling in Maya 2019. And this is a common technique that a lot of people like to use because it adds depth by not doing a lot, if that makes sense. What, what we're going to be doing today is we have in our animation up here in our top right area of Premiere Pro, uh, we have a bunch of, you know, evil empire ships flying around the area. we got Star Destroyers and TIE Fighters. They're all hovering above Earth, protecting it for their safety. And right here, in about the bottom middle of our screen, we've got a, a group of TIE Fighters that go really, really far and small, and they disappear behind the Star Destroyer, which is all the way over here on the rightmost side of Earth. But... It's actually a really easy technique, and we scale these TIE Fighters down to make them look like they're flying way far away from us, creating big distances between us, when in reality it's not that big of a distance at all. So if we go into Maya, we have our, we have our scene here. This is the exact same scene that we saw. And we have, let me go ahead and delete that, we have our TIE Fighters right here. These are the TIE Fighters in question that go really, really far and really, really small, and then they disappear and it's a really easy technique and what we're going to do is we're going to go to a different camera view now some might ask why do this why not just you know create the scene and have you know these same starfighters just go well the issue is that maya gives us a confined space there's only so far you can zoom out before things start looking really odd and this doesn't look good for our scene when you're messing around you're trying to work on stuff and your scene starts just disappearing around you specifically you know the backgrounds that you might have or if you even go further in some of these all these assets that you can grab here, if you zoom out too far, you're not going to grab as many. You might grab one or two. So that's why we use scaling to fix these. And if you actually look at it from a third person perspective, you can see our TIE fighters right here. They go from there to getting ready. And then if you look just close enough, you can find our camera. Uh, if I could find my camera. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have, a, we have a camera right here. And it's just and these TIE fighters are scaling themselves and then they take off as if they're going away from us when in reality their scaling is just getting smaller and smaller and it creates a really nice effect so how we're going to do this is we're going to go back to 60 or at least first start uh, we're going to duplicate this we're going to create a, a second we're going to make another pair of tie fighters so these are the tie fighters that scale down and then fly off how we're going to how we achieve this is we're going to start let's say like 82 uh, because that's between, oh no, I'm sorry, 84, but that's because that's between 72 and 96. So it's like the in-between second of, uh, of three. So 3.5 seconds is where this is starting. And what we're going to do is we're going to set a keyframe here by in your animation tab. Um, Maya should automatically go to poly modeling. That's probably where you start. But if you're confused, just go up here to animation and you're going to set keyframe with this button right here. And what that does is just, it just sets it to, to be called to ready. And what we're going to do is we're going to scale all the way, or scroll all the way to the very end of our animation, which is five seconds at 120. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these TIE Fighters and we're just going to move them all the way over here. Maybe down. Maybe, maybe we can make them go further, like, like all the way over here. You know, like maybe they're going to this Star Destroyer right here. All right. Uh, well... To, to give you an example of what it looks like, if we take both these animations, you know, they're just going to look really, really awkward when they're flying and they're really big. So if we so if we can just get an example, if we go to view, I'm going to cycle through my cameras here. I have what's called camera six viewing um, this fleet. And if you look, you can see how kind of odd it is because there's just these, you know, there's small little ones right here. And then there's also these really, really big ones. And it kind of ruins the effect of it. Not exactly, but it still kind of wants you to, you want to like make sure it looks, you know, nice. You know, like sometimes if these ships, you know, start clipping into other ships, you can't help but wonder like, you know, like what's with the, you know, like what's with the scaling. You know, if these, if these ships start clipping like this, you can't help but wonder that immersion of the ship being really far away is kind of ruined. So we're going to go ahead and control Z back to where it was. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're just going to scale this all the way down to where it's like pretty much non-existent and if you look at that it just looks like it's going off in, it's going off into deep space but if we can we can actually fix that by doing this over here and then the animation makes it look like it's flying like that oh I see what my issue was it was on 121 not 120 so we can reset that we can scale it scale it down again like that 
and then move it over here off camera. And then we have the immersion that they're flying to this Star Destroyer right here at the very edge, top right. Um, and we have the immersion that it's flying away from us, very small, into the abyss or away from our camera, giving it the depth that we want. And in our next uh, tutorial that slash vlog that I'm going to be making, we're going to do a different kind of scaling with uh, the Rebellion ships, and I'll show you what that looks like. But yeah, this is how to create depth using scaling in Maya. Thank you.